There's one melodic contour Taylor Swift uses over and over in her songs. Of course, she uses a bunch of others too. What is melodic contour? Well, it's just the shape of your melody. But since Taylor Swift is so prolific in her writing, it's a great place to start and analyze some of these contours. So dive in and I'm going to show you what she does and you can use some of these strategies in your writing too. Hi, I'm Heather Greenslade with Singer Songwriting School. For the best tips on songwriting, subscribe to this channel, hit the bell so that you never miss a new upload every Tuesday. If you ever get stuck writing the melodic lines for your songs, keep watching. By the end of this video, you will know all about the melodic contour Taylor Swift uses most often and three others. I've used these melodic contours and many others all throughout my writing and now you can too. Just throw that tool into your songwriting kit and keep on writing. Taylor Swift is very well known for her one note melodies. It's actually part of the key to her success. Not only does the simplicity of her melody allow people to really engage in the lyrics, but it makes it so easy to just jump in and sing along. It would be really easy to assume that a one note melody would be boring and people wouldn't want to listen, but you cannot deny the popularity of these songs. Check out the chorus of Look What You Made Me Do. Look what you made me do, look what you made me do, look what you just made me do, look what you just made me do. Yep, pretty much just one note. So why does it work? Well, one of the reasons is that the melody of the preceding section is so different. Check out the pre-chorus leading up to that part I just played. So this part's only two notes, but they're spaced really far apart. Then it goes to Ooh, do, 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 like sort of a speaking voice. So, and the instrumentation behind it is so different. It just works. She's varied the sections enough that, yeah, I don't mind that you sing the same note over and over the whole chorus. I'm loving it. Taylor's song, Are We Out of the Woods, has a one note melody all through the chorus, too. One of the things that makes this one work is that background vocal riff. Listen again. Can you hear the texture that creates? And also, just like in Look What You Made Me Do, she's got another section with a very different melodic shape. In the bridge, she's jumping from one note up to another note, and it's actually a jump of a fifth, just like it was in the other song. So check this out. So we've got two shapes so far, the one note melody, and then we've got this jumping back and forth between notes that are pretty far spaced. But what's happening in the verses of these songs? Let's look at the verse of the first song we looked at, Look What You Made Me Do. Her melody is stepwise, so she's not jumping anywhere, she's just going one note to the note right next to it, and she's going note, same note, up, 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 and then back down to the note where she started. I don't like your perfect crime how you laugh when you lie you said the gun was mine then she repeats that pretty much exactly a few times now let's check out are we out of the woods so again she's got a stepwise melody and da 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 so it's Note down, same down, up, same up, down, down. That's what I'm thinking when I listen to these contours. We're staying the same, we're going down, we're going up. So just check this out. Then she repeats basically the same shape, just a little bit lower in the scale. Take a listen. Taking the same melodic contour and shifting it to a different range in your scale is a really common and pretty great technique. Do you already notice the melodic contours in songs, or is this a new technique for you? Let me know in the comments below. To learn more about melodic contour in various popular songs, check out this video here. 
So now you know what melodic contour is and a little bit about how Taylor Swift, in particular, uses it in her songs. So now it's time for you to jump in. If you like this video, please let me know by liking it below so I know to make more like it. Share it with any songwriters you think might find it helpful. If you found it helpful, comment helpful below and make sure to go to www.singersongwritingschool.com to check out all the resources we have there. Happy writing!